What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all feeling fantastic. This is gonna be part two of the boat build. I'm so excited because we got the boat back on the trailer and it's boat time now. I have started tackling into it so far. So, to the new subscribers that have subscribed because of the old video, welcome to the new channel. Hope you guys do enjoy. Give me the feedback and uh, so good to have you guys here. So, mind my voice, I'm, I'm crook as a dog, but we're gonna get into this. So I started building without the camera on. I always do this because I get so excited and now I kind of regret it because I can't explain what I've done. But anyway, I'll try my best. Build a hardtop canopy. Building it out of wood. It's going to be uh, coated with uh, waterproofing and then it's going to get fiberglass. Bit hard trying to get these angles. I started off with the angles first and then it went bit by bit. Um, I'm nearly there. And then after this we just got to stick plywood on the side. You guys will see as the video goes on and it will be understandable as does that make sense It'll be more understandable as the video plays on that makes sense wear your safety gear guys don't be stupid like me i like it a lot we'll have something to hang on when we climb around the front you know, chuck things up on top of there Yeah, looks good. All glass painted, it'll match the bike. Man, you know your boat's too big when you gotta jump out of it. As we get covered, you have a strip of uh, plywood going around that on top, you know, all here, here. This here will be like a strip on the outside, plywood. I'll do the inside as well, plywood, and then that has a good surface, flat surface of uh, fiberglass. So you see all these little cracks everywhere, but and it kind of puts you off on how it's going to look at the end. But just picture those being nice fiberglass, fiberglass, you know, all around. And then we'll have good windows, fiberglass here. And then, got to also make my own fishing rod holders, big boomer up here. Mount to here, that's why I've gone subtle like this as well. So, uh, it'll look good when it's, when it's halfway there, you know. As soon as you get the plywood on it, it'll give you a rough idea on what it's going to look like. I reckon it's going to look epic, it's going to put this boat, it's going to make the boat look like something different, you know. Like it's worth all the work. Fast forward uh, about a week and a half. Um, I have got a bit more on the boat done, as you can see. Um, bear with me, it's sunny as out here, and I eyes closed. But anyway, let's get into it. So, I have carried on a bit on the boat. I'll run you through it quickly. I've just dropped by. I've done a bit more fiberglassing as well, and I know you guys want to see the build and want to see how I'm doing the build, but man, I just get so excited sometimes. I just don't pick up the camera. So, it's just me, myself, and I today. I'm holding the camera. I'll run you guys through what I've done so far. So first of all, as you can see, the uh, canopy. Hard top canopy, it's coming along nicely. It's a lot different um, design as well. We've, uh, we've pulled it down to bits and we went again. My brother had some good ideas, so shout out to Ruben. But yeah, so I, I've basically got the first plank up there just so you can see what it's gonna sort of look like. Got the roof without those big bearers. We're gonna end up running um, little timbers over the top of the canopy. It's gonna give it that nice look, plus it's gonna give a lot of strength. And we don't have those big silly beams across. I don't know what I was thinking. That's extra weight as well. We don't need that stuff. It's gonna be easier to fiberglass. Everything's just so much better the way we've done it. 
Um, obviously, it's all bigger. It's got to be screwed on. I've just chucked a few nails so you can see. Um, big window here, as you, as you know or will know. Window, window, another window. Um, hard top, and it's going to have a big fishing rod boomer at the back here. Thinking about having a bit of overhang there just to give it that nice style, if you know what I mean. So, in the boat, the floor. You remember how there was a 282 engine in here? We've taken that out, we're going outboard, we're going to stick a pot on the back. That transom's got to be built up as well. I've got the fiberglass that has come in. A lot of stuff has come in, it's just a matter of time and effort. And I bring the camera along, to be honest. So, anyway, canopy's looking schmink. Love it. Got these beams here. Um, I've got it welded up. Got in place, they just sit in there for now. Going to get another one about here and move that over. And that's about it that we've done so far. Started off fiberglass for the first time, so it's just the sheet. That's the floor piece that is going in there on the floor. Um, fiberglass in the top, wrap that around the side or might cut it, fiberglass it. Underneath, we'll see. But I'm contemplating putting a little hatch here so I can see if there's any, any water leaks in the hull as I'm testing out the boat for the first time. Just to, and I'll be able to access the bilge pump. I'm gonna stick a bilge, bilge pump under there as well. So we've got to clog up a few of those holes in there um, where, the, where the shaft used to go and a few other things used to go. So that's got to get done as well. A lot of work, but we're slowly getting there. It's coming along nicely. Shout out to the new subscribers we gained over, I think like eight subscribers on that other video. So I know you guys are watching this for the part two. Thank you for being here guys. Welcome to the family and uh, get keen on this new build. All right, so fast forward one week, we are back. Plan today is to get this uh, hard top canopy done, all the plywood around hopefully cut the windows out um i did remind you or i did show you guys in the other clips about the flooring how fiberglass that so that's ready to go in as well but i'm just going to try and get the uh, plywood done so we can move on to all the other steps but enough talking let's just get into this so what i've done is i've just clamped that plywood to the other side just with a nice g clamp real tight Go off the pencil from the inside of the cab and just marked it out and that's how i got the outline of that i did no measurements just basically traced it so, so then i'll cut that i'll fit it on i'll see what needs to be tweaked um, and then i'll go from there it's ba basically the easiest the quickest more efficient way to do it um, if you are planning to do it you can try your other ways but this is how i do it and this is how i like to do it You're left with something that looks like this. A little spaceship or a fish. Um, let's see if it fits. Keep in mind, keep in mind there's a bit of tweaking going on, so it's just a rough cut. Should go something like that. The ply wasn't long enough, but the good thing about fiberglassing is this is basically, I don't know what you call it, the base, or the frame, the base. So all you've got to do is chuck in a little piece in there because everything's going to be sanded back a bit, take all that rough stuff off and then when you go fiberglassing, you're patching it all up so you won't see it. It's just to hold that fiberglass there. Cool, I'll get that screwed in, then we'll probably move on to the front, then the top and we've got some uh, cool little beams, strips that we're going to be running on the top. I'll show you later on and it gives it some uh, structural Structural strength. Second side done. Having screws like that too. Having the ply anyway on the side. Obviously you need something to fiberglass too, but it helps the strength of the frame of the, the, uh, the hardtop canopy. So it won't wobble. It was really strong, but when you add that, you add the front, you add the top, locks it in. And then on top of that, you got fiberglass. It's gonna be a solid one. We'll be able to jump off that, sit on there, look around for nice reefs, tuna, birds, everything. Dive off there. It's gonna be wicked, man. It's gonna be sick. Chuck something up there, surfboard, for when we go do island trips. Can't wait for that. Try not to think about it. Lock 
sit in together. Edges are rough. It's all going to get sanded back. That's going to get sanded a little bit to, as well. But all these corners got to be a little bit rounded off for the fiberglass to bond a little bit better. So it's kind of rough at the moment, but we're going to work on that. Looks okay. <laughs> bit of patch up work, but man, when it's finished, I think it'll look good. We'll get onto the roof now. Um, chucking those little beams on it too for structural integrity. And um, go from there. Well guys, that's going to be the end of the boat build part 2 it will be because part 1 was the trailer. If you didn't watch that video, go check it out. We painted the trailer, refurbished the trailer, but it's boat time now. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're going to be getting to sanding back all the fiberglass and hopefully paint. We'll see how we go. Every other little bit and piece I'll put in that next video. But for now, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you have not subscribed, join the family. See you guys in the next video. Yeah.